Hey everyone, welcome to another UFT tutorial brought to you by www.qtptutorial.net. Our aim at this website is to teach you everything from A to Z in becoming the best automation engineers on the planet. That is our goal and that is what we strive to do with our high quality video tutorials. Today's topic is one that has been present amongst the automation world for a long time. It is a question that is posed to us so often and we want to solve all these problems for you guys in this video. So the question is, what do I do when UFT does not recognize objects? And today I will go through many options for you guys to do step by step when UFT does not recognize an object. So let's jump right into the topic. Let me pull up my VM here first and the most common problem that I have seen with beginners and even some intermediate people, I don't know how they don't know this, but you guys will learn it right now, is you cannot open your browser before UFT. You have to open UFT first because UFT uses what's called hooks in order to be able to work with the browser. And so you have to open UFT first. So let's go ahead and show you the problem. Now, I opened up in Internet Explorer. You guys see that, right? And now I'm going to open up UFT. By the way, I just downloaded UFT 12.0, the latest version, and I'm very excited. So this is my first time really playing with it just for you guys. And both of us will learn together as we interact with it. So let me go ahead and open up an old GUI test. That's just something I started a little bit ago. And that's going to allow me access to all of the tools, such as Object Spy, which you can find here and here. Now, let me pull up the website and let me get this over here. And now I'm going to use Object Spy and see if I can recognize anything here. And do you guys see that? Look at the left in the Object Spy window, how everything is recognized as a win object. And that's because I opened up Internet Explorer first. Okay, now let me close Internet Explorer, close UFT, then open UFT, and then open Internet Explorer. And it's gonna work. So whenever you can't recognize an object, first thing to try is close UFT and then open it first. Now, google.com should come up. Again, let me get out our object spy and let's see if it works. Oh, awesome. You guys see that? Web edit, web element, web button, web button. Look, I can recognize everything, guys. Images. You guys see that? Everything is recognizable as its own element. So that's solution number one. That's the first thing to try when UFT is not recognizing an object. 